Alright gamers, welcome back. It's your boy Thunderbird and this is a new series on the channel, the Minecraft tutorial series where I show you guys how to make something in Minecraft and uh, yeah. So this is gonna be a bit of a special video because it's the first of this new series and you know I would really appreciate it if you guys give this a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and basically what we're gonna be making in today's episode is this amazing door combination lock okay so this is um basically it's done with item frames and a pointy object kept inside the item frames which will uh yeah which will basically be like a numbers right number system because you know each item frame has rotational properties like you can do this and just you know keep rotating it now um each rotational position actually corresponds to like one number so this is one two three four five six seven eight and then one again so you can't you can't do more than eight which is the problem with the system and you can't yeah so you can only go through eight numbers at a time so this can't go all the way from zero to nine that's not how this works unfortunately but yeah basically this can work with any number of digits so you can have one two three digits or four digits Right now, this is a three digit combination lock. You can have a two digit one, a one digit one, which is very easy. A nine digit one, maybe, if you're that much into this. But yeah, for the most part, this is really easy to make. And as you can see, if this this is one, right? Then this will be two, and this is three. And that is our, um, that's our combination lock. I went with something easy, one, two, three, obviously. You don't have to, but yeah, I went with one, two, three. And as you can see, this is the redstone working of this. It's very simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to build this first. Then I'm gonna explain the working of this. Then I'll show you guys how to make this a four digit combination lock or a two digit one or whatever you want. I'll show you guys how to change the number of digits easily. So with now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Here's what you will be needing. A few blocks of your choice. By few, I mean around two stacks. I'm carrying one and a half stacks, but you know, it really depends on how much you you wanna build. It's, it's really up to you. I would recommend around two stacks, just in case. Three item frames, one door, seven redstone torches, 33 pieces of redstone, four redstone repeaters, and three redstone comparators. Now, please note, that if you're using any other pointy objects other than redstone torches then you will need three of those and four redstone torches only also this is only applicable for three digit combination locks like i said um because if you i'll show you how to do four and all that but like these many number of materials is only um applicable you know like you might need more if you have more digits it it really does depend and also if you want to cover it up uh, that might take a few other number of materials. It really depends on how you want to do it. Uh, the design that I just showed you is gonna take this many exact number of materials. That's what that's all I'm saying. And I also have my pickaxe with unbreaking three and efficiency three, in case I mess up somewhere. Yeah, that's useful. Start with building a three by nine frame that looks like this. All right. So one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine. Now you want to take out these two blocks because this is where the door will go and you want to place down the door like that. Perfect. Also, just make sure that when it opens, it opens that way. Okay, yeah. It doesn't really matter. It, you, can, you can have it open either way, but yeah, I'm going to have it open this way actually. So here's your door placed right now. Now what you want is place item frames one block apart from each other and one of the and each item frame should be one block apart from each other and the last one should be one block apart from the door. So like it looks like this, right? That's great. And then place three pointy objects in those item frames. Now, obviously, we're still using redstone torches, so that's all we need. Now, find the block with the item frames on them, right? Each block with the item frames on them. Put down a block right next to it. So it looks like this. Now, we know that the blocks with the redstone torches or the item frames on them are this one. So place a block behind that. Like Similarly, you just do it for each block which has an item frame placed on it. Just behind that block, go ahead and put down another block and now place a comparator on these blocks each okay and then you want to extend these blocks like this all right and i mean like each of them actually yeah whatever uh you want to extend these blocks okay now what you want to do is pretty much 
change the combination lock over here so you want to set it to whatever you want your combination lock to be so my combination lock is obviously one two three so we're gonna put this as two and this is three this is already one so no need to worry about that now we go ahead and go to the back of this and for each comparator and we might also extend over here by the way it should also extend everywhere now with each comparator you're gonna put down redstone dusts all right and uh, you're gonna keep placing redstone until your redstone powers off so as you can see here it's still active here it's still active and here it powers off now don't forget to place that last one which is unpowered that is important uh, just because it's unpowered doesn't mean it's unimportant or something like that it is important and you need to place that down and then for this one as well you keep going and this is the unpowered one right here this is the unpowered one now you might be noticing a kind of a pattern here here there's one powered redstone dust here there's two and here there's three now the and our uh, our combination lock is one two three coincidence nope that's how it works and that's how it just uh, is right here there's one two three combination lock one two three now you're gonna, you want to get rid of these two blocks or the extra blocks right which you don't need now put down a repeater at the end of these like like so all right so it looks like this now you're gonna want to place a redstone torch on the last powered bit now for this one the last powered bit is right here so put one down right there now here put one down here and here one down here so it looks kind of like that yeah all right now you want to dig a hole below the redstone torch kind of kind of like this i guess now you want to dig a hole here as well and just keep digging a hole until the block right next to the repeater block all right so boom all right now we've got that ready go ahead and and put down a bunch of redstone dust starting from here right so it goes out like that oh don't do that never do that that's a bad idea just put it all the way out yeah so it looks like this now the last thing you want to do before you continue the before you complete the circuit is place a redstone torch right here and that'll make the door open don't worry that's what you want okay you want the door to be open for this and now what you want to do is go over here now also put down redstone dust right here and here's where you want to kind of try and link it all up right as best as you can now this can be done in a variety of different ways but uh, basically you just want to try and get it as linked as possible without disturbing the circuit too badly okay so we put down one here 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 and here and that should link all of this okay so now as you can see we've got it all linked up we still have two redstone pieces to spare and then we put it there and finally the last piece is this repeater right here okay so now the repeater is there because um, if we just put down a redstone piece let's say we had one more redstone piece and we put it down here then the signal wouldn't be strong enough by the time it got here so we need that one repeater to strengthen the signal oops wrong place yeah all right, so as you can see now, if we change the, these numbers, the door closes because it's only used to that specific combination, as you can see. So the circuit is basically complete. Now what we're gonna, well, now what we're gonna wanna do is build the frame of this, and we can do that easily, quite easily. All right, so as you can see, we've walled this all up, and this is what it looks like, and basically. We're done. That's basically how you do this circuit. All right, but how does this circuit actually work? Why does it work? Well, basically, there's a thing right in Minecraft that these item frames and the and the rotations of the item inside the item frame gives out redstone signals. So this gives out a signal of one, two, three, four five six seven eight and then back to one again that's how the rotations work now the comparators are the only things which are able to read this signal and put and uh, output it in the form of redstone signal basically so yeah there the comparators are able to read the item frames position the rotation and convert it to the signals basically so this gives out one um a signal strength like i said 
and this second one is two third one is three that's basically how it works right so basically if we got the signal strength down why does this work why doesn't why does the door only open for these for the specific combination lock that we enter well the thing is the door is always open because of this redstone torch right it's supposed to always be open but the only way the door cannot be opened is if there's a signal cancelling this redstone torch and there has to be a signal right external signal onto the redstone torch which defeats the purpose of it which blocks the signal that the redstone torch gives out now that's what this piece of redstone here does in fact the whole circuit is built just to give out a signal that will disrupt this redstone torch and close the door right so if there's a signal coming out from any of these then there'll be a signal in the whole circuit and it disables the door so now how do we make a signal come out only if uh, you know if the number that we need is not there how do we make a signal come out well the thing is if the number that we need is not the number in the item frame then there are two two possible explanations right either the number is greater or either the number is lesser so in the first case number is not really going to be lesser than one so that's that's not ideal i'll take the third case as an example so in the third case the number can be lesser than three or greater than three right so how do we limit it basically if the number is lesser than three we want that to be a signal and if the number is greater than three we still want that to be a signal well as you can see we place a redstone torch right here right on the third block which will give out a signal but this restaurant torch will be disabled if there is a signal on the third block which means that until there is a signal on the third block as you can see until that happens that there will be nothing preventing this restaurant torch from giving out a signal and closing the door so there has to be a signal on the third block now that's the first part done right if it's lesser than this now what if it's greater because if it's greater there's still going to be a signal on the third block but how do we make the door close in that case well if it's greater than three then there'll be a signal over here right in the fourth block and if there's a signal on the fourth block that is carried from the repeater or strengthened by the repeater i should say and basically just transmitted all the way till here right so if there's even a single bit of signal over here it's strengthened by the repeater and carried all the way till the end till the door now that's what happens in each of these circuits here it can't really be less than one so it's not ideal that we built it like this but whatever it doesn't really matter but as you can see in two and three we need this right because if the if the position is less than two that is let's say one as you can see signal will be over here but there'll be no signal on this restaurant torch which makes basically which makes the signal go through and close the door but if it's two there'll be a signal on this restaurant torch disabling it and preventing any other signal from going but what if it's three if it's three there will be a signal on this block carrying it all the way till here i think you're getting it now basically that's how this works uh now you can use this knowledge to extend this to four digit circuits which i'm about to show you guys because it's not that easy to do this again in survival and tell you guys how many materials you would need for this because you know this is a completely different build and i don't know i've never built this before i know how to do it and i'm just trying to share that knowledge with you guys but um you would basically just go around this making the same frame that you did before right it would be a three by nine arrangement like this that's what you would start off doing but how would you do a four digit one well the four digit one should have two extra blocks like so and now put down item frames on each of these clear out space put down a door very standard stuff obviously you can put down torches in these four item frames obviously you can put in any pointy item it doesn't have to be redstone torches now put down a restaurant block on these blocks very simple stuff comparator goes over here now let's say our uh, uh, let's kind of change up the combination lock a bit let's make this how about um two three four five okay so this is our combination lock two three four five so for two three four five you want to put down restaurant dust like this right now the idea here is um you want to extend it that number that is the number of this 
you know combination or sorry not combination the number of this particular digit plus one blocks so this is right now uh, i said two right so two we have to extend it to three like that for three extend it to four for four extend to five for five extend to six so it looks a bit like this and you will see that it works perfectly based on the same you know principle that i said over here it's basically the same thing now what you would want to do again just clear the hole put down a redstone torch to open this up uh, obviously you want to put down redstone just like this right leading out now you want to put down a repeater here 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 okay now you put down a redstone torch on the last powered block like i said before so here here and here and then basically dig dig down and well you know you know the rest of this just dig down and lead out the redstone signal a few moments later yeah let's go then now if we are to close the door uh, sorry if you are to change this up it closes the door just as we thought it would and no other combination other than the one we put in will work so the one we put in was two three four five and boom it opens just like that okay so that's it for this episode of the tutorial series i hope you guys enjoyed this if you want to see more then go ahead and comment down below and i will make more if you do want to see it but yeah so just to send me suggestions of what you want to see me do in minecraft what what uh what you want to see me build and what you want to know and i will do tutorials okay if you want to know how to make this garbage disposal system which is pretty simple i'll show you how to do that next episode but whatever it's up to you it's your call uh i think that'll be it for me i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and peace